Windows 10 provides lots of ways to personalize the Start menu. You can pin your favorite apps and arrange them how you want, as well as change the Start menu's size and color. For example, to resize the Start menu, you can drag the right edge of the menu outward to make it wider, and also drag the top edge upward to make it taller if you've got enough vertical space. Now you can access more apps at once with less scrolling. You can even make the Start menu full screen. We'll show you how later in the video. To pin your favorite apps to the Start menu, right-click or tap and hold the app you want and choose Pin to Start. You can also do things like pin the app to the taskbar, rate and review it in the store, and also uninstall it if you no longer need it. We'll go ahead and pin it, which will add it to the right side of the Start menu. To unpin an app, just right-click or tap and hold it again and choose Unpin from Start instead. Note that you can still get to the app from the full apps list on the left. In addition to pinning and unpinning apps, you can also resize their tiles using four different sizes. This one's currently set to medium, but we can choose small to make it a quarter of its size. Alternatively, we can set it to wide, which sets it back to medium, but at double width. And lastly, we can select large to make it both double width and height. Other actions you can perform from the right-click menu include turning the app's live tile off, which displays a static tile without the live content updates. To turn it back on, just repeat the process again. To rearrange your apps, tap or click and hold a tile and drag it to where you want, then let go to drop it in place. To keep things organized, you can group related tiles together. To do that, just drag a tile to an empty space, then let go when a solid bar appears above or beside it. This will create a new group, so you can drag over any other apps you'd like to add to the group. Once you've grouped the apps you want, you can name the group by simply tapping or clicking the space just above it and entering a name. You can even drag the entire group from the double line or sandwich icon on the right to move it elsewhere. Another way you can group your apps is by placing them into folders, by simply dragging one app over another, then letting go, which adds them both to the same folder. You can then drag any other apps you want to add to the folder, too. To open or close the folder, just tap or click its tile in the usual way. To remove apps from the folder later, just drag them away from it. For more customization options, click the Settings icon on the lower left of the Start menu. Then go to Personalization, followed by Start from the left-hand side. From here, you can customize the items you want to see on the Start menu. For example, you can show more tiles, which lets you add a fourth column of tiles to the right side of the Start menu, instead of the default maximum of three, so it's great for larger displays. You can also show or hide the full apps list on the left side of the Start menu, as well as your most recently added apps and your most used ones, both of which appear at the top of the apps list. If you want to maximize your screen space, you can even make the Start menu full screen, just like it was in Windows 8. Here's what it looks like. To get to all of your apps from this view, tap or click the All Apps icon on the upper left. Then, to switch back to your pin tiles, click the icon just above it. Everything else is unchanged. To switch back to the regular Start menu, just turn the full screen setting off again. The remaining options let you show or hide jump list on the Start menu and taskbar, which we explored in a previous video, as well as choose which folders you'd like to see on the Start menu. We'll add links to our videos, pictures, and music folders, which will add them to the left-hand side, shown here so you can get to them quickly. Once you've made your folder choices, tap or click the Back button on the upper left corner to return to the previous page. Lastly, head over to Colors on the left to change the color of the Start menu and other items, starting with the Accent color, which is used for your tiles, buttons, highlighted items, and more. By default, Windows automatically picks an accent color from your background, but you can choose your own by selecting another one from the grid. Alternatively, click Custom Color below to create a new one by choosing a color from the palette, then using the slider to adjust its intensity. For more accuracy, you can even enter specific RGB or HSV values, then click Done to add the new color. This will apply the change immediately, so you can see what it looks like right away. Other options you can change include toggling the transparency effects on the Start menu, Action Center, and Taskbar so you can see through them to the windows underneath. You can also set the same accent color for your Start menu, Taskbar, and Action Center, as well as the title bars of your apps. This will also update in real time, 
so here's what the new color change looks like. Lastly, you can also switch your apps between a light or dark color scheme, which some users may find easier on the eyes. We'll switch back to a light scheme. And that's all the different ways you can customize the Start menu. So when you're done, just close the Settings app to finish up.